Welcome to the Elevator World Podcast. This is your daily industry news update for November 13th, 2015. In today's news, Shizi Otis is providing 30 units to China's Olympic Sports Center. The University of Maryland will host Technics 2016, Envision Automated Transit, and a stylish Maclo condo tower is planned for Midtown New York City. CG Otis Elevator Company Limited has been hired to provide 30 energy efficient Gen 2 elevator systems to the 80,000 seat Olympic Sports Center in Hangzhou, China. With its main stadium scheduled for completion by the end of 2015, the facility is being built to host the 2022 Asian Games. CG Otis states Gen 2 systems are up to 75% more energy efficient than conventional systems that lack regenerative drives such as Otis's Regen. The Advanced Transit Association, University of Maryland Center for Advanced Transportation and Technology, and Southern Illinois University invite interested parties to attend Technics 2016 Envision Automated Transit on January 9th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the atrium of the Young H. Kim Engineering Building at the University of Maryland in College Park, Maryland. Envision Automated Transit will be a continuation of the Envisioning Automated Vehicles with the Built Environment Workshops hosted by the Transportation Research Board and the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International at past Automated Vehicle Symposiums. During those, participants were divided into groups and assigned scenarios and sites around which to design. Envision Automated Transit will be similar with emphasis on automated transit. The annual Advanced Transit Association business meeting will follow. New York Kimby reports a 490-foot-tall, 35-story condominium tower with ground-level retail designed by Centro Ruddy and developed by Maclo Properties is poised to start taking shape at 200 East 59th Street in Midtown. At the corner of 3rd Avenue, the building has a design that harkens to 1960s-era modernism with an exterior mixing glass and a, quote, basket weave of metals, end quote. New York Yimby called the plan, quote, crowd-pleasing and observed it promises to enhance both skyline and neighborhood. The building is set to contain close to 70 spacious residences with terraces. No completion date has been announced, but structures on the site have been demolished. For more industry-related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter at Elevator World.